Okay, so once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing, and in this video, I'll be showing us how to make a kimono jacket. Now, it's an outfit worn along with your senator top. Now, these are example of a kimono jacket. What you're seeing here is a kimono jacket. This is also a kimono jacket. And what this person is putting on here along with the white senator top is also a kimono jacket. So I'll be showing us how to make this kimono jacket. All right, so these are the various measurements we need in making a kimono jacket. Now the chest is 42. The kimono jacket length is 41. It's always longer than your senator top or a same length. Then the armhole, you need to take note of your armhole too, is 20. Now, if your senator top armhole is 19 or 18, you make sure that the kimono jacket armhole is a bit wider than that of your senator top so that it will be free at the armhole point. Now, the neck is 16. The neck we are using is 16. Now, you must know if the exact neck of the person you're working with is 16, you can make your 17 or 18. It shouldn't be too tight at the neck region. Now, the shoulder is 18. These are the various measurements we need in making a kimono jacket, just like the one I've showed us. Now, if you take a look at this one in particular, you see that the kimono jacket stopped. See, the, it stopped exactly at the shoulder point there, as you can see. Then it's open. As you can see now, it's open. Now, that has to do with that of the pocket. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is also a kimono jacket. This is also a kimono jacket. So, let's begin. Now, to begin, I'm using two yards of fabric. I'm using two yards of fabric. Now, first thing you do, you fold your fabric into two. Now, make sure that the opening part is facing you. Take note, the opening part is facing you. Fold your fabric into two and make sure that the stretchy part is always at the width point. So, to begin with, you mark a straight line and that you mark a straight line just like the way you do your button down shirt. Remember, we're cutting it in the form of a button down shirt. Now, the difference. With that of the button down shirt is you won't fold two in no way no need of folding two in because they don't overlap your kimono jacket don't overlap so no need for that now you've marked this now i'm moving down i'm moving down with three inch i'm moving down by three inch all right so this is my shoulder line this is my shoulder line now then this very first line, just the normal way you do your normal senator button down shirt. Then remember from here to here, three inch. Then from this point here is two and a half inch. So I'm making a nice curve. Please, you need to make sure that your curve, your neck point here is very, very round. You should feel the roundness of the neck. All right. So when you're through with that, now the shoulder is 18. So that will be nine. Remember we said there won't be an overlapping there won't be an overlapping so this is 18 so you mark then you add half inch remember we said you can use this same for kids it's just a measurement if it's for kids if the shoulder is 14 you mark at seven then you add half inch then this point here if it's for kids the first line after marking the first line you can move down by 2.5 just to make sure that the neck is free Around the person so you connect this point now we are connecting the shoulder point to this connecting these two points now over to the armhole over to the armhole now remember the armhole of the person is 18 the armhole is 18 so you're dividing it by two so 18 starting from this second line remember there are two lines here this is the first line this is the shoulder line to get the next line is the armhole. The armhole is 18. That is the exact armhole. But in this case, I'll be using 20. I want it to be free around the person's arm. Remember, he'll be putting on a senator top. So I want it to be free. Either use 19 or use 20. You're safe. All right. So armhole, that is, like I said, I'm using 19. I'm using 19. So 19 divided by 2 gives you 9.5. But I'll remove 3 inch because I have the back to cut. Take note. Reason being that I have the back to cut. So come closer, you'll see. So this is 9.5. This is 9.5. So 1 inch, 2 inch, 3 inch. So this is it. 
at this point, you mark this point being your chest point. So this line, please, this line is not useful. It's not useful. We now have our chest line. Now, at this point, you now put your chest measurement. Remember, the chest is 41. So starting from this point here, 41, that is 10 and half. So you mark. I'm adding just one inch sewing allowance. One inch. Unless you want the kimono jacket to be free on the person. Unlike your signature that you add to in. But in this case, I'm adding just one inch sewing allowance. So, I've marked. Alright, so at this point, you now connect your armhole. Now, watch carefully. To do that from this point here, place your tape. You want to make an armhole. For those of us who have armhole curve, then the middle. You move that so you now make a nice armhole please you need to make sure that your armhole is very round because we are not fixing sleeves take note from here to here this is your shoulder line this is your chest line you make a straight line then you move down half inch then you connect from this chest point down making a nice curve to this point all right now the next thing i'll be doing is to take my top length and to do that, you're starting putting your tape here down. The desired top length is 41. So remember, the desired top length is 41. Now I'm adding just one inch. We don't need too much a lot, just one inch. All right. Now that is it. So at this point, you now connect, you move down this other point here from here down. Remember, this is the armhole. You're moving down. Down to your desired length as well. So we're not true with our front panel. We have various ways of doing this, but let's work with this first. So I'm doing the cutting now. All right, we're through cutting. Okay, we're through cutting the front panel now. I want to cut the back. So to cut the back, you fold the fabric into two again as shown. Now, take a look. Now, when we're cutting the front, the opening part was facing you. But this time around, the closed edges is facing you. Take note. So that is it. So we'll place this. we we'll place this as shown. Remember, we keep this equal. All right. So quickly, the back is very easy. That is the most easiest thing. So step one, you cut off this point. So want to cut the back quickly. The back is very easy. After placing the now, you trace this point equally. Tracing it down equally. Please, when tracing, trace it down to the width point. Now, when you're through, you move this down. You move the front down. Watch three and a half inch. Three and a half inch. Move this down three and a half inch. Let's confirm this. All right, so you have that. Okay, three and a half inch. Perfect. All right, quickly, the next thing you do, you're, you're just doing the same thing you do for your normal button down shirt. So you trace this, you bring this down, making sure it shouldn't exceed half inch. If you've been following my videos, I will explain this over and over again. It shouldn't exceed half inch. So quickly iron this down, quickly. All right, when we're through with that, now watch carefully. Please trace from here. You're tracing from here. Take notes, and not from this point. So we're tracing from this point. Tracing, tracing, curve it. Make sure your neck is very round. So we'll continue from here. All right, so place it back. Perfect. You make sure your neck is very, very round. All right, perfect. All right, so you trace the, so you confirm your shoulder again. Confirm my shoulder. Remember, my shoulder is 18 plus half inch, nine and a half. So you trace the armhole, trace the body. So you watch while I do the tracing. So I'm tracing the armhole. All right. Tracing the body. Trace it down. So we're through with our back panel. All right, so the next thing I'll be showing us is how to go about cutting out. In making your kimono jacket, we don't need a yoke, no blanket, no yoke. All what we need is the main components and the lining to use. Now, the beautiful thing about this kimono jacket we are making is the inside, unlike your senator sewing that you will see the sewed allowance and the rest. This or everything will look neat, just like in form of a suit or your waist coat. 
All right, so now I want to cut the lining. So to do that, we start with the front panel. You get the fabric you want to use for your lining. I'm using a contrasting color, contrasting fabric. This is a navy blue. So you place this. Place this the front panel. I want to cut the front lining. What you're cutting now is the front lining. So you trace, you just trace all through. Remember, we're cutting the front lining. Okay, so I'm through with my front panel now quickly. Now over to the armhole, the lining. Now, this is your main fabric. So you remove this now. The lining. This is the armhole point. You make sure that you reduce the armhole, just as you can see, just a little. The essence of doing this is to make sure that there shouldn't be, shouldn't see the lining outside your armhole. Remember, we are not fixing sleeves. So you are reducing this just a little. Now, even the down part too. This is the ending parts. The down part too. Watch, I'm reducing this. Take note. Both together. You're reducing this a little. To avoid the lining okay all right so take note you're doing this to the armhole and the damp part of your lining okay so the next thing you do is you cut you cut the back panel of your lining we're cutting the back now okay we're cutting that of the back panel this is the back lining so you're cutting this, tracing this strand. Okay, when you're through with this, now for the back, for the back, you're doing that same thing at the neck. Please take note of the region, neck point. Just little, as you can see, very little. Armhole, you're doing that at the armhole point. This is the armhole. Little, what we did, take note. You're doing this neck, armhole. And the down part. So after this, we're going over to the down part. Remember, no sleeve to be fixed. So we need the edges to be neat. This enables your edges to look neat. Then the down part quickly. Doing this at the down part of our line. Remember, for the front, it was just the down part and the armhole. While for the back, it was the neck, the armhole, and the down part. All right. So we have this now. While I was doing this video, there was no suit gum stay. Remember, I use suit gum stay to gum the whole fabric. Take the main fire, you put your suit gum stay. I have black suit gum stay, but it's not enough. This is it. So you gum this all through the back panel, then you gum the front panel, both the left and the right, all through. As at when I was doing this video, it wasn't available, but I'll just show the most important thing is for us to learn how to go about this all right so at this stage we now want to start the sewing paper we are through with all our component that is all what we need remember like i said when making your kimono jacket you either have a round neck or you either have a v neck the most important thing is just know the concepts behind making a kimono jacket so whichever method you want to use there are some that they use bias to pipe the neck round down to the end so the choice is your now to begin with we now want to start the same proper i've picked my front panel this is the left i've indicated it out this is the left remember i said if you have a cloth gum so you can come all through this is my left panel now this is a good side facing me good side take note good side facing me now you pick your left lining as well left lining now if you take a look i've already indicated left this is the wrong side facing me take note good side the wrong side place them together now go to your sewing machine watch careful you sew the neck this is the neck point this is the neck you sew the neck like this like this down to the end now let me turn it this way you're sewing from the neck down to the end down to this end to the edges moving down this way you're moving down this way to your armhole to move to the like this so let's do that now we're sewing the edge straight down down to the end we stop there 
Now this is the edge, then move this way. Remember, just a little. Stop there. Now I move down. This is the ample point. So this is how you shoot down to the ample, down to the shoulder. This is the ample point. You're seeing the ample point down to the shoulder. Alright, so when you're through with this, you now put a notch at the cuff part, starting with the neck. This is the neck. This is the neck point. You're putting the notch all through. I use the paper gum steel here, sorry, cloth gum steel to make it stiff at that neck point. I'm putting a notch. Then you put notch all through. Then this is the ample point. You put a notch too at the ample point. Put a notch. So you do this thing for the right part. Remember, this is your left part. I'm putting a notch all through. Then you now turn this. Remember, it was so you turn. Okay, so let's turn this. All right, when you're true sewing, I'm true with the sewing. Now you turn from this point. This is the point you leave. Take me, you're sewing the arm hole, the neck, the two boots, the boot side, but you leave just this shoulder. This is where you're turning from. So you're doing your turning from this point. So you turn this out. Make sure before you do this turning, you put a notch. So you're turning this out. All right, so this is it. So when we're through turning, you iron everywhere neatly. Iron everywhere neatly. All right, so we're through with the two components of the front roof. Iron it. So now, this is my back panel. This is the back panel. This is a good side facing you. Now, if I get the lining of the back panel, making sure that the wrong side is facing you. So now, in this sewing, we have to sew two parts first. One, the neck. Take note, we are sewing the neck round first. Then when you're through sewing the neck round, we we'll now sew the down part as well. Take the take note of the two places first. One, the next same way you did for your waist coat. Male coating is very very easy. Now the down part you're sewing from here, then you stop somewhere, then you skip at least four inch or five. That is where we will turn everything out so that the whole sewing inside will be looking neat. Now the excellence of this is that you can either use this or this other part depending on the side you want to use either this part to be shown or this part to be shown so let's begin with the neck sewing you sewing the neck round this is the neck just trying to sew round we are using 0.125 sewing 0.125 that is half of one quarter all right so we did that. Now we're going to the down parts. We're going to the down parts. Now this is the down parts. I'm sewing half inch. I'm using half inch for my sewing. This is the down part. Sewing. Remember, I said you sew, sew, and you stop. There's a point you stop. So I'm stopping here. Then I'll skip. I'll skip at least four to five inch. Or four to three, to depending on which one you want. Then that is the point where we start turning. Alright, so continue the swing. Remember, just the neck and this down part alone. In case, take note the neck and the down part alone. Alright, so, so stop there. Alright, so the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be picking up my front panel. Now I want to do the joining and picking up the front panel so alright so I've picked up my this is my front panel this is the right I've done I've already indicated it right please always indicate so you take this to your right now it open remember this is my neck point this is the shoulder so at this point you fix it the way you fix your normal so you watch careful this is the shoulder point the two shoulder so you open this you open this now take the good side to the good side so you're fixing this to the shoulder point putting this there fixing this make sure you put this just the way you fix a normal seat to make sure it laps that point then you close 
remember while cutting the bar we folded that half inch so we close this and you're saying half inch so so that's half inch so watch while i do that half inch so remember the shoulder point so we pick the three one two three three of them one two three then sit down now please watch carefully now please watch carefully i don't know if you can see now when you sew to this point you notice as you can see now this is the armhole point at that point where it stopped you now turn just where you did your normal you know you turn this please watch carefully just now this time around the lining and take note this is the main fabric and the lining alone shifting the front panel inside so now sewing the back panel and its lining alone take note the back panel and its lining alone that is what you're doing now down down just the way we did for our symmetric i am sorry uh, waistcoat down down take note so doing this then when you get to this point the end of the armhole when you get to the end of this arm we now bring in the front panel take note at that point you now bring in the front panel so let me quickly bring it okay yeah so that is it see this is my front panel i don't know if you can see from there you bring it this you now fix it to that edge as well just where you fix it to that neck point remember this is the armhole of the front panel so you fix it to that edge as well all right I, okay this is it so you see now so you put it there this is the armhole Okay, so you close again. You close. Then you now sew the three. Now you're now running the three straight down with half inch. Remember, it was just one inch sewing allowance we added. So you're now running the three now. Remember, the three together. The three now. Okay, you're running this down to the end. So we are through with the other part now. For emphasis sake, I want to take look and repeat the second one now. You open this again. You open this. This is the second part. Good side to the good side. If you place that close, then you close this. Then we sew that part half inch. When you get to this point, now see. I don't know if you're seeing from there. This is the lining. This is the front panel. This is the back panel. So when you get to there, you stop. You stop at that point. You stop there. Then you turn. This time, I remember you're sewing just the the lining and the back panel alone. The armhole. This is the armhole. You're shifting that out. Take note. This is the front panel. You're shifting it out. You're picking up just the lining. You're doing this, the lining and this back panel alone. Down. You're taking this down. Taking this down. You're doing this down. When you get to the end of this point, you now pick up, you pick up your front panel, this shoulder point, pick up the front panel, this is your front panel, the shoulder points, this is it, then you now fix it there, you fix it there, then you close, then you sew the three down to the end. Alright, so at this stage, we are through with the sewing, so please, quickly, before we turn, put a notch at the armhole. Put a notch at the armhole, please, so that will enable us to turn it and to look smooth. You also put a notch at the back neck. Remember the neck circumference. You also put a notch. Then when you're through, you put a notch quickly. 
fixing the notch all through quickly. Please be careful while doing this. So cut off this. It's not necessary anyway. There is the edge of that neck point. Then you put a notch at the armhole or the armhole point. You also put your notches all through. Okay. Put your notches all through. Just the way you did for your waistcoats. Okay. Uh, when you're true, okay, not true with this, put our notches all through. Okay. Let's confirm if we have all our notches all right okay quickly now so you go to the points remember so this point where we skipped this is the point where we skipped so this is where you're turning everything so you're turning this from here everything at this point so you're turning this from this point here all right so i've done the turning now this point here you get your hemi gun you either use do a hand stitch, but I prefer using hemi gum. So you get my hemi gum, then I make sure I gum that point properly. This is the point where we skipped, so I'm putting my hemi gum and that surface there. Okay, so you now iron this down. So that is how to make a kimono jacket. All right, so this is the end of what we've just made. Looking very beautiful. All right, this is kimono jacket, as you can see. Now, if you take a look the inside, the insoing, you see how neat it is. All right, once again, you're watching PJ Collection Clothing.